Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's Gamat with 1611 rating versus Johnny90 with 1251 rating. Pretty sure that's how you'd say that name. And uh, it's going to be a high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. We're going to see Gamat win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, 40 versus 42. And he's going to choose to go first. The opening hand is Red Eyes Wyvern, Valor, Prologue, There Can Be Only One, and Buster Whelp. So he opened up pretty good. Um, you have to get a Dragon Engrave and then have Prologue and you have Combo. And like, he can just summon this and like link it off and that's the Dragon Engrave. So that's pretty good. And he also has like a Floodgate, a Hand Trap. This is a very solid hand. Then he has Talons. Girsu, Ash, Nessie, and Orchestra Return. This is also a, a pretty fine hand, I'm not going to lie. Um, he has to Ash Buster Whelp. So it's like mandatory. Yeah, you have to, because if you don't, then they'll have a Dragon plus Prologue guaranteed, and then that just shuts you off completely. Uh, then make Link Karibo. Um, he's going to set prologue, and there can be only one. And then pass, draws ash. That's unfortunate. You don't really want to draw that there. Normal summon, effect. He's going to let that go through. That sends Orcus Nightmare, and then prologue to dump two, and then chain memories. He's going to bring out Buster Dragon, and then bring out Buster Blader. He summons in defense to help play around droplets. Uh, Orcus Nightmare, uh, Gear Seuss, 10 Wand. Then wand effect, he's gonna chain there can be only one. Um wait, he did that on summon. Or no 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 never mind, never mind. He didn't do that on summon, he did it on the effect. Okay, that yeah, makes sense. Um so this was on board and it was chain link one wand, chain link two, there can be only one. Uh, but he didn't actually have a machine on board. He had a dragon on board. So then he tried summoning a machine. This is all legal. And it comes out and sends. So, all right. That makes completely sense now. Um, why that had to be sent. Return, or why that's engraved. Uh, return to get rid of the gear suit. To draw Skelly and gear suit. Not good. Passes turn. Draws memories. Um, he's going to link in the Anaconda, and then Anaconda effect, pay 2,000, dump fusion, uh, bring out a Dragoon, then switch to attack, attack for 500, then attack for 3,000, this can't attack directly, uh, draws Dark Magician, whoa, so they're both on Dragoon. Um, he's going to normal summon Gursu and use the effect. He's going to let that go through, send Skelly. He's going to set talents and then use Nessie. And that hits Skelly. That's good. Uh, draws Gizmak. Ooh. Um, this is actually getting pretty interesting. He's going to make Nightmare Phoenix and then Nightmare Phoenix effect. That's going to get rid of the Gizmak. The hit there can be only one. He's going to Dragoon Negate. But now he can Talon Steel, pop both, and attack. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Orcus won that? Like, like at the end, it was like getting pretty obvious that he was going to win. But usually, like once the lock has been made, it's GG's. But he stayed in it. He had the talons, and it ended up working out good. Um, moving on to game two, we're going to see Gamat go first. Opening hand is Buster Whelp, Order, Judgment, Buster Blader, and Red Eyes Insight. Um, so again, good hand. He can choose to go for the Buster Whelp to get his like lock on. Or he could go for the Red Eyes Insight. I think he's going to go for the Red Eyes Insight just because it only plays in the Ash. While this plays in the, like, every hand trap. 
then like if you have Dragoon plus Judgment Order, like there's just no way you're losing that. So yeah, he's for sure going for that play. Then he has Nightmare, Foolish, Valor, Allure, and Return. And it's good that he's going for that play because Valor on that would be very good. Oh. Never mind. I'm just dumb. He's going to send Wyvern, add Fusion. I feel like he would go for the Fusion play though, right? Because like this plays into like the Imperm, Gamma... Ash, like, like Valor, and those are like all decently played hand traps, and then this only plays in the Ash, so I think this would have been the better play, and like it's not going to be useful next turn, yeah, I think he definitely misplayed there, Link off in the Link Karibo, set Judgment, set Order, then pass play, draws Red Eyes Fusion, He's going to activate Red Eyes Fusion. He's going to Chain Order. Pa I mean, he passed his turn. I mean, he could return, get rid of Nightmare just to get it engraved, but it's not going to do anything. Draws Knight. Oh, that's a that's a good draw. So now he's going to be able to get to Dragoon if he wants. Like, it takes 700 off order. Attack for 300, then attack for 3,000. Um... And then he's gonna link in main phase two for Anaconda, Anaconda effects, send fusion, dump, bring out Dragoon. He did this in main phase two because like this played in the any hand trap and it would have only been 500 damage if this got negated while it was 3,300 damage. So I think it was uh, worth draws Babel and that game. Yeah, he's just showing him that he has like four spells. Um, You'll see like the Buster Blader deck with like order and anti spell up. A lot of people have realized that's like a good way to go with the deck since the deck really only loses to like Droplet, Dark Ruler, um, cards like that that can just like instantly negate the lock. And if you have like anti spell and order and then like plus the lock, then your opponent can't do spells or monster effects, and it usually means you win. So we're gonna see. Johnny go first for game three. Opening hand is Trap Trick, Buster Blader, Ecclesia, Gamma Seal, and Dark Magician. Um Hopefully he um sided out like the Red Eyes Insight package when he was going for like the kaiju stuff, because he can't use fusion and go for the kaiju stuff in the same turn. So it seemed like kinda pointless to have both in the deck at the same time. It's probably what he sided out for these. Um, sucks to like draw bricks. It's not really that good of a hand. It's decent, but it's not like crazy. Then he has Allure, Nessie, Orcus Nightmare, Called by and Reborn. His hand's a little bit better. It's not combo yet, but he has a lot of draws, so we'll find out. Allure, draw two, and then banish Nessie, normal summon Valor, link it away in the Link Karibo, Reborn, bring out Valor. And then link those two off in the blocker. Blocker, give it to Orcus Nightmare. Then go in the Link Cross. Link Cross, bring out tokens. And we do know he's playing Dragoon. Because we saw Dark Magician earlier. Bring out Link Karibo. Orcus Nightmare, Sun Juan. Juan, bring out Orcus Nightmare. Then goes in the Galatea. Galatea effect. Put back Juan to grab Babel. And then summon Ding just to get it engraved. Goes for Anaconda. Anaconda effects. Send fusion and its materials. Bring out Dragoon. Um. So this isn't like a crazy end board, like I said, but it's a it's a decent one. It's definitely a decent one. Kind of surprised he didn't set called by, but I guess he's just gonna use it as a Dragoon negate, and then keep talents. Which is fair enough. Um, yeah, pass turn. Draws knit. Oh, oh. wow. Unfortunate. Uh, summon Gamma Seal over Dragoon. And special summon Ecclesia and use that effect. That's going to let him add Knight. Honestly, like, this is still like a very close game. Like the Orcus player isn't really far ahead. His first turn combo was actually very, very poor in my opinion. Um, 
I think he could do his combo in a different deck better. Like, uh, like, um, like a tracer would be better. I don't know, like a needle fiber could get him like Dragoon Herald, and that would just be like the same as Dragoon Ding, but this just has a whole bunch of bricks in its combo. Um, he's gonna attack over Anaconda. And he's gonna use Nightmare on Anaconda, Sun Skelly. And then set Trap Trick. Um, Skelly, bring out Gal. And then Galatea, put back Skelly to set Crescendo. And then give her to the token for Link Karibo. Sun Phase is crazy. Uh, passes, draws Orcus Nightmare. He still has a return in deck. It's gonna trap trick on standby crescendo uh, because this could get prologue and prologue does cost so he just doesn't even want him to get that far it's not like he's gonna be using another trap this turn anyhow he'd have to have like impermanent hand and nothing on board um he's gonna galatea put back to set return and then summon ding ding effect the sun he's gonna summon knight and negate the ding Return, get rid of Orcus Nightmare. And then he's going to chain Orcus Nightmare on the Gamma Seals, Sending Wand. And then draw Skelly and Valor. Uh, wand effect to bring out Orcus Nightmare. And then use Talents to look at the opponent's hand. He's going to put back Nib. Normal summon Skelly. Then go for Gal. Ding, attack over Knight. Gamma Seal, attack over Ecclesia. And then Ging's at 800 attack from Stunning 1. And then 12 and 18. Um, then he's going to link those off in the IP set called by. It's weird that he sets called by now. But... I guess like either way, like he for sure has it. Like he has IP versus a trap deck, and they're on top deck, so you can just unicorn send back the top deck for game. He has ding, he has an entire engine, and he has his top deck. Draws red eyes fusion. You know that's actually a really good top deck. If anything was to get him out of this, it'd probably be something like this. But it's still not gonna work. He's gonna chain IP. Um, what is he going to go into? He's going to bring out Dragoon. He's going to bring out Long. Um, that's fair. He's going to Dragoon to try to destroy, but it was brought out with IP, so it's not going to die. And then Dragoon beat over it. He's going to Orcus Nightmare and damage. Says, if you have 2-1, nothing I can do. But he has Gizmek in deck. So he just sends Gizmek, and then Dragoon dies. Yeah, I... That, uh... That, that was honestly weird right there. I mean, honestly, he was gonna lose no matter what happened. Because if he negated it, then... Well, I don't know why he said in damage. You wouldn't use that in damage. You'd use it on the attack. You know the hands, so that way the Dragoon negate on the attack, then you can Skelly bring out Ding the Sun. Because if you use it in damage... Then they negate Orcus Nightmare, Long gets beat over, then in main phase 2 you can Skelly to summon Ding and Send. So you're losing a Long right there for no reason. Um, so I think that was poorly played by Johnny right there, but again, it was just going to be game. Like for sure game. Way over game. More than enough. Um, yeah, and I guess he just wanted to like bring that out so that way he could Skelly bring it back and so that way he can still crescendo this turn. Because you can only summon Dark Machines the turn that you use it. So uh, I guess that was like sort of thought out. But I just think like the damage Orcus Nightmare was wrong. But again, just didn't really matter. Um, that's going to be it for the video though. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder signing off. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need to get the 7,000 subs by the end of the month. I know it's going to end up happening. And I know it's going to end up happening like a day before. But look, we got to get there. It's going to be easy. I'm going to do a giveaway. We got this. We're only like 300 away. No no biggie. No biggie. We'll get there for sure. Um, that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Out.